What's up YouTube, this is Ticklish. And even though this is kind of an impossible topic, I wanted to uh, make this video due to a comment I got on my what is Swan Quarter video. So let's get into it. So to begin, I wanted to thank the person behind the comment and any viewers who take the time to leave a comment or like. But this particular comment was basically about me not mentioning Seosin as a major influence for Swan Corps, and that Seosin was about the furthest back one can go with Swan Corps. You know, I really should have mentioned them. But I think we have to backtrack for a moment here. Translating the name came out in 2003. It's an amazing EP, unique at the time, and very influential to uh, progressive post hardcore, but also regular post hardcore. Honestly, I think the EP had a slightly bigger influence on regular post-hardcore bands, as although the EP is full of amazing instrumentation and interesting song structures, it really doesn't have too many progressive elements. And I don't want it to seem like I'm hating on Seosin at all. I enjoy them and Circus Survive is my favorite band. But I don't think their influence on the current bands frequently tagged under the Swancore label is as big as Dance Gavin Dance or The Fall of Troy. Now that brings us to our next topic. What then is the first Swan Corps album? And I honestly don't know how anyone could answer this. The term was coined by Will Swan and Sergio Medina back in 2013. So one could say the first Swan Corps album was the first one released by Blue Swan Records, which happens to be Stolas' Living Creatures, or maybe one of Dance Gavin Dance's earlier albums since they are uh, at the forefront. Or e I've even heard The Fall of Troy's Doppelganger as being the first Swan Corps album. But now I'm going to expand out of the Swan Corps label to the progressive post hardcore genre. I feel like it's a little easier to place a finger on the first album that way. And that album would be At the Drive-In's Relationship of Command. Of course there were earlier At the Drive-In albums. Fugazi, Glassjaw, Drive Like Jehu, all the DC bands, and those were all definitely influential, but I've always viewed At The Drive-In's Relationship of Command as the first true cohesive blend of progressive rock and post-hardcore. I won't go too much into detail about the album, as I'll be doing more videos about At The Drive-In in the future, and my channel is named after one of their songs after all, so I am a huge fan. So what do you think about Relationship of Command being called the first progressive post hardcore album? I'd love to hear what y'all have to say, and subscribe for more prog-related content.